Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfet. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict Number 42 of 2022 that amends Edict 1 of 2018 and restructures the Civil Service Bureau, whereby the phrase Minister of Labour will replace the Minister of Labour and Social Development. His Royal Highness also issued Edict Number 42 of 2022 to establish a national task force to contain communicable diseases. Finally, His Royal Highness issued Edict 44 of 2022 to establish a committee for investment in government-owned land. The Minister of Oil and Environment and Special Envoy for Climate Affairs, Dr. Mohammed bin Mbarak bin Daina, received Chief Drilling Engineer in Saudi Aramco and the Middle East Oil and Gas Show, MEOS, President Faisal El Ghemish, and the accompanying delegation. The Minister praised the solid Bahraini Saudi relations and the efforts made to achieve the visions of the two countries in the development of the oil and environmental sector. He stressed the Kingdom's keenness to cooperate in the organization of of MIAS, which will be hosted by Bahrain during March 7 to 9, 2023, at the new Bahrain International Exhibition and Conference Center in Sakhir. The meeting reviewed preparations for this global event, which will include ministerial programs, panel discussions, short courses, and specialized academic events, in addition to an exhibition that includes various local, regional, and international oil companies to review the latest technologies in this vital field. A delegation from the Ministry of Social Development led by the Minister Engineer Osama bin Ahmed Al Asfur visited the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to review the development and societal experiences where they met with the Saudi Minister of Human Resources and Social Development Engineer Ahmed bin Sulaiman Al Rajhi. Al Asfur affirmed the depth of fraternal and historic relations between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia in light of the support of His Majesty the King and the custodian of the two holy mosques. The visit comes within the framework of enhancing joint cooperation and reviewing Saudi Arabia's advanced experience in social affairs and strengthening relations in the social and development fields, in addition to exchanging experiences in the most prominent programs and projects related to the ministry's work. The Minister of Tourism, Fatma Sayrafi, announced a future launch of the programs and partnerships with the aim of increasing Bahrainization in the tourism sector and promoting the culture of working in it among Bahrainis. The minister stated that Bahrain's tourism strategy 2022-26 to focuses on developing the tourism sector to provide high-quality job opportunities for citizens. She stressed that the ministry is keen on integrating more young people into the sector and to encourage Bahraini youth to launch their own projects in it. She also noted that the ministry is focusing on youth tourism by launching initiatives and programs that attract youth, noting that uh, Vettel Hospitality College, which is the executive arm of the Ministry of Tourism, is working to attract more Bahraini youth into the tourism and entertainment sector. She expressed confidence that more national competencies will further develop the tourism sector. The Minister of Tourism, Fatma bin Jafar Sayrafi, received the President of the Arab Tourism Organization, Dr. Bender bin Fahed al Fahed. Sayrafi affirmed Bahrain's commitment to actively contribute in boosting inter Arab tourism rates and increasing its contribution to economic, social, and cultural development in Arab countries. The Minister stressed the importance of investing the current global developments in promoting tourism in the Arab region and diverting the destinations of Arab and foreign tourists towards the Arab region. She discussed activating joint cooperation in Arab tourism integration, cooperation in the field of tourism, marketing, training Arab caters in the tourism sector, attracting tourism investments to the Arab region. She expressed the ministry's readiness to support the projects and initiatives of the organization that contribute to revitalizing the various tourism sectors, including business tourism that achieve economic investment and development benefits. 
The Ministry of Labour continues its efforts to create more quality job and training opportunities in line with the labour market needs which targets Bahraini citizens as they are considered the centre of development. The various ambitions, plans and programmes carried out by the Ministry of Labour aim to achieve the visions and aspirations of His Majesty the King and the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. National efforts are intensified to achieve the objectives of the Economic Recovery Plan for the Kingdom of Bahrain, where positive indicators begin to appear through the employment and training developments the Ministry of Labour is working on, which contributed to the growth of the economic sectors that generate jobs in the labour market and the rise in employment rates during the first half of this year, which reflects achieving stability and sustainability in the short and long term. The private sector also took part in advancing economic growth and enhancing its stability with an integrated strategy with controls to facilitate appropriate jobs in line with the requirements of the labor market. The Ministry of Labour continues its unremitting efforts by launching many initiatives and plans aimed at employing job seekers, generating quality job opportunities and making citizens the first choice for the labor market. The Information and E-Government Authority held a meeting with the Saudi Data and Artificial Intelligence Authority and the GCC Secretariat General to follow up on directives by the GCC Smart Card Technical Team and discuss cooperation related to information technology. The meeting was in line with the GCC efforts to implement the initiatives of the General Secretariat's Economic and Development Affairs, which aim to promote technical integration among Gulf countries. The agenda covered a range of other items including methods to accelerate the integration of Bahrain's and Bahrain's and Saudi Arabia's ID verification systems with each other as per a previous agreement which stipulated that this project was to be the first phase of a larger Secretariat General plan to connect the systems of all GCC countries. Benefits of integrating the systems were also discussed, including allowing Bahraini citizens to access Saudi Arabia's unified national platform using the same e-key usernames and passwords they use in Bahrain without the need to create new accounts when visiting Saudi Arabia. The National Health Regularity Authority, NHRA, announced holding the second edition of its conference under the patronage of President of the Supreme Council of Health, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa from September the 29th to the 1st of October. The announcement was made during a press conference in the presence of NHRA Chief Executive Dr. Maryam Al Jalahma. The press conference spotlighted preparations for the second Bahrain Health Regularity Conference and Exhibition and the chapters to be covered which are related to licensing healthcare facilities, activating munshaat and mehan initiatives, regulating and monitoring medical equipment and pharmaceutical products, granting and renewing accreditation for hospitals and medical centers, and developing legislation. The second Bahrain Health Regularity Conference will be held under the theme Safe and High Quality Healthcare Services. It aims to enhance cooperation among all medical and pharmaceutical practitioners on implementing and managing health regulations. The conference will also provide a platform to introduce the role of the Supreme Council of Health, the SCH, in putting and following up on the implementation of the National Health Plan, which aims to fully upgrade the health services system in line with the goals of Bahrain Economic Vision of 2030. A joint working group has been formed to develop a mechanism for implementing alternative penalties with the participation of private sector companies and Temkin. The group plans to hold an introductory meeting with private sector companies to review the mechanism for implementing alternative penalties. These efforts are intended to reintegrate individuals after they serve their sentence in order to make them into productive members of society as per the royal vision. The joint working team, which consists of the National Institute for Human Rights, the Ministry of Interior, the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, the BCCI, and the Bahrain Small and Medium Enterprises Society is set to develop a mechanism for implementing alternative penalties in partnership with the private sector. The process will entail reintegrating individuals into their communities after spending a portion of their sentences in rehabilitation centers. It represents a first step that is intended to guard against potential relapse. 
gaps. The Working Group's executive mechanism also represents a pioneering initiative to offer employment opportunities by e-marketing jobs to former inmates thanks to the cooperation of participating private sector organizations alongside BCCI, the General Directorate of Verdicts Implementation and Alternative Penalties and other related organizations.